Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a, a little collective haul video. So this stuff I haven't got all in you know one day. It's over the past three three weeks I want to say. So it is a mixture of books and colouring supplies and some boring things like ink and stuff that I needed but I thought I'd uh, show you anyway. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with, I only got this yesterday and I've only swatched the colours out, which I haven't even got my swatch book out ready, here we go. So there's my swatch book. And they are gouache. As some of you might know, I do really like uh, watercolours and acrylic paint. So I thought, why not try the gouache? So as you can see, I've got it messy already. This, uh, this was literally from last night, me just swatching it. As you can see, it's more of a jelly consistency. So you do get this palette as well, so this pops inside of there and the lid goes on, but I do keep the palette out because it does get messy. Um, but if I can just tilt it without spilling it everywhere, they are really, really thick. So you do get a lot of paint for your money with this. Uh, the swatches that I did do last night, they're beautiful, they're very, very opaque. Just got them in my watercolour. Um, swatch book here that my friend kindly made uh, so here are all the colours that is a, a titanium white and a normal white so obviously they're not going to show very well on there but yeah I've uh, specifically bought a book to use these with because I was going to try the gouache um, you know when there's tubes but I just thought this would be more convenient so I did get this off Amazon and I do believe it was about £34 on offer when I purchased it yesterday, or the day before rather. So that palette does come inside of it, but I just keep it out, otherwise it will just get messy. But it is a very solid um, palette that, once you've used the paints you could use that palette for something else. That's what I would be definitely doing anyway. Uh, so they're not so fun stuff, some tape. <laughs> I was using masking tape for when I was doing any sort of watercolouring you know, for the uh, border and it was always pulling the paper up and this is brilliant and you can peel it off and reapply over and over and over. I will link everything that I talk about in the description below because I can't remember exactly you know, how much I paid for everything uh, and where I exactly got it from but 9 times out of 10 it usually is Amazon. So that's the tape that I've been really enjoying using. I just got some new tags for all my whips and my finished pages. Uh, this was a, a bargain really. I think it was only about two or three pound and there's 700 tags in there. So I think it's going to be a long time before I'm going to need any more. Yeah, 700. Yeah, it's going to be a long time before I need any of them. And I like the plastic ones because I found that the paper ones, which I like, and I've got one hander. Oh yes, I have here. The paper ones that are like this that I were using, they can get folded up like that and then I'm missing them thinking that I've shown everybody everything that I've done and I'm, I'm missing things. Uh, the next, you know, not really that fun is the ink because I've got some new stamps that I wanted to try and use for backgrounds and my embossing powders. So they're just uh, silicone uh, little stamps that I put on my board got a little acrylic board, board that's about so big that I haven't pulled out um, so that's my plan with these is to use them for backgrounds and I've not tested this out yet this did only come yesterday but it's just a black ink so I thought that would be good for like I said the embossing powder and I believe this one does not run with water that was my main reason for buying this one because if I find some stamps that I really like and I just want to colour them like with watercolour or <clears throat> excuse me or whatever I can use that ink. Uh, another ink is the Winsor & Newton white ink. I do already own the silver and the gold which I do really like and I use quite often. But the reason that I got this is I saw Imogen from Colouring Kid use it uh, to block out some white in her Disney book. So I thought you know what instead of messing around with the gel pens which to be quite frankly I'm going through too many of these. Um, I have got backups and the Posca pen as well so I thought you know what I will give this a go and I did use it last night on uh, some dragonfly wings and it just worked really really nice so I'm quite pleased with that 
Now, I didn't say that the silicone uh, stamps were from the range, which is just like a local... It's not an art shop, it's just an all sorts shop. It's got home things, it's got toys, it's got cooking things, it's got uh, arts and craft. And I bought this from there as well, it was about £2.50. Because I did look on Amazon and they were charging £7. So I got a bargain with that one. I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, more inks. So these are the just dist distress inks that I bought this month, just this for. Um, I will show you my little swatchy swatches. I have updated it in my little dinosaur pad. I'm not going to be able to find them now that I really want them. It's so slow. There we go. So the new colours are Rusty Hinge, uh, we've got Gathered Twigs, Broken China, and Victorian Velvet. So I'm really excited about the Victorian Velvet and the uh, Broken China one. Uh, the brains, I've got quite a few brains, but I wish I'd done my swatches a little bit bigger, you know, like room in between, because as you can see now, it's getting a little bit tight, but nevertheless, anyway, I've, uh, that, that's my swatches. Uh, ink, the last ink thing is really boring, I just needed some more printer ink as a backup, because I hate uh, buying a PDF book off Etsy and getting halfway through the book and the ink runs out, I, just nothing worse that annoys me. So I, I always like to have a backup in, you know, for when that happens. Um, this isn't brand new, but I didn't actually show it in my last haul. But I have spoke a couple of times actually about the Chinese white pencil that I like for blending. So this is how I found it. I'd, I'd purchased this set and used this pencil for blending uh, my Prismas and my luminance and it works like a treat so i have got a few backups of just this one color but the actual um this set i do believe the biggest set that they do is 24 i want to say is it 24 or 32 i can't quite remember but i'm quite happy with this set the 12 it's got some actually nicer skin tones and some nice fur colors so if you're wanting to do that foxes wolves you know, that sort of thing. They're really, really handy for that. So I'll just keep them in the tin. Literally, just before I started filming, I checked my washing machine and it had six minutes and it seems like that six minutes has gone and now it's pinging, so that's why I had to pause it to come and sort it out. Uh, I got the other Thomas, Thomas, Tom, Tomic? I can't pronounce his name, I do apologise. Uh, I have got the other book, which I've still not done anything in because the pictures screw me to death, but I do just love the artwork. Um, itself but I have purchased something else that I'll show you towards the end because it is quite big that I've I'm going to use in these boots because of all the fine detail um, but yeah if you do want any flip throughs of any of the boots or anything that I do show you just leave me a comment down below and I'll happily do that uh, we've got a little mini Disney book I mean the size of my hand it's teeny weeny so there's two of these that I've got I mean, at the moment, these are bargain price on Amazon. These are £5.10, £5.9 I paid for each of them. And there are some really, really lovely ones. Uh, I still enjoy my Vitralis book, but it is quite a big one. So if I just want something that's a little bit uh, quicker to do, easier to do, I'm definitely going to reach for these. Possibly as well, just if I'm sitting on the couch. I've got Bamba. And I just want to do a bit of colouring as well as watching TV. And these are probably the boots that I'm going to reach towards with them being a little bit smaller and they are quite uh, firm. So if I'm just leaning on my lap, you know, they're not going to flop everywhere. But yeah, those really cute ones. I'll quickly flip through this one. But it's the same sort of thing, Disney characters. I think I do prefer this one over the other one. I think Toy Story there. Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell again, this is some really cute images and it's just going to be easy colouring. I probably won't use my alcohol markers on this with it being double pages, I do really like that one, a Simba. I'm a sucker for anything Lion King, that one is super cute as well. I expect one of these in my upcoming finished pages, I wouldn't be surprised. And that one's Belle and Beauty and the Beast I want to say. 
I always get mixed up with the princesses. Oh, look, they've got little tags. So you cut them out. It would have been better if there was a little like, Disney image on the other side instead of it being like a wallpaper page. But yeah, the two little Disney ones. So after me saying that I'm not going to colour Disney, I'm thoroughly enjoying collecting the boots and colouring them. <laughs> uh, the next supply, this was an absolute bargain, I couldn't resist it. So you know that I've got uh, my 150 set of Prismas, I've, I've got a smaller set, a backup set. Um, and this, the 48 set, I find on Amazon Warehouse for half price, so it was meant to be, it was less than half price I think. I think it was meant to be £58 and I paid 24 something because, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, can you see the dint? And I was thinking, oh, am I risking it a bit here because I know that the quality of the Prismas have come down. As you can see the tin there is all smashed but I've took each of the pencils out, she says. I have took each of the pencils out and there's not one core broken. So for me that uses Prismas quite often. I'm absolutely thrilled that I've managed to get a 48 pack, so a decent size back up for basically half price. I mean it is a bit mangled the case but it doesn't matter because once I've used one colour out of my 150 set I'll switch them up and pop my new ones in so honestly it doesn't really matter about the tin to me. Uh, another really boring one just to pay for that I like to use for printing out my PDFs again I will link down below. For 100 sheets I pay £5.50. This is the one that uh, Colouring Chat with Sammy recommended and I, I think this is my third pack actually. I think I bought my first pack a couple of months ago and I printed out books and you know PDFs. But yeah I think this is my third pack and it takes water, pencil, pastel, anything you can think of really really well and it's a really good quality, you know, sturdy, quite thick paper. Let me just get this out of the way because it is quite big. Mm. You're going to laugh at me, but I'll move it to, on to side for one minute. I purchased one single Tombow pen, just one in one colour that I knew that I'd use, and it's uh, it's more of a goldy, goldy brown shade, number 26. So it came yesterday, and I was using it and doodling with it and colouring, and I thought, I love this. And I was working out the prices of me paying to get sets of, I think the sets of 16 were £30 or the sets of 12 were £30, I can't quite remember but working it all out it would have cost over £300 to get the whole set if I was doing it you know in smaller sets or individually so I thought you know what I know what I'm like so I'm just going to get the full set. So this only arrived this morning, I haven't even took it out of the packaging yet, it's still in its box um, I am going to open it up on a separate video and do some oh, it's do some swatches uh, and do my colour charts and everything so I will show you that at a later date um, so this is the boot that I was talking about that I want to use the gouache in the, the Disney book uh, and the reason that I wanted this Disney book is because on the other side You've got a reference which I really, really enjoy. So I'm not having to think of my own colour palettes. You know, I'm basically just copying the colours and hoping that it turns out as beautiful as they do. Because some of the images, like this one for instance, you know, are in the trunk of the tree. I know that obviously that's paint. Um, so I'm hoping that I can sort of emulate that. And then the rest of the picture. I would do with pencil. I mean, this you can tell this is paint too. See again here with the paint with the trees. Oh, this is a really, really good one to show you. See it again with all the paint here. I mean, I don't actually know. I think it probably is all paint, but that, there's no way that I'd be able to paint like that. But I might be able to get away with some of the uh, the flowers and the trees and stuff. That was my idea anyway. See it again with the trees. I mean, nearly every single picture I can pick out a little bit that I think has been done that way. Even in the background there, in the Beast of the Beast. So, yeah. The only thing with this book, it smells weird. I know that sounds really, really strange. But it, I got, I did get it new from Amazon. It wasn't in the warehouse or anything. But it just smells a bit weird. 
Uh, so I've shown you the Tombow pen, the single one, so I can put that back. Uh, I did get a Jelly Roll glaze in black, and the reason that I got this was because of Kate from Kate's Colouring Haven. I saw that she had one. I did actually order one of these, or two of these, probably about three months ago, and it didn't turn up. Long story short, that order got cancelled, so I just ordered one a single one on Amazon. And I do really like it, it's really shiny. Uh, I've got my PDF book, which I'm just going to flip to the back. I ended up downloading the uh, Fabiana Atiana, is that how you pronounce it, I think? Uh, Harry Potter PDF, because she had it them on a sale for the whole set, so I thought, I was going through a Harry Potter stage, I'd watched the whole seven or eight movies I want to say, in a space of a week and a half, so I was went on a bit of a Harry Potter craze, so you've got the Hogwarts, you've got Harry, Hermione, Ron, I don't always show me PDFs, is it worth me showing you PDFs? Luna, Guinea, Fred and George, Draco, Neville, Dobber, Dumbledore, Hagrid, uh, yeah, you're not, and that, that is a finished page. If you're on, if you're on uh, Instagram, you would have already seen that. But I did download the new Hannah Lynn one as well. Again, if you're on Instagram, you've seen already that I've done two or three pages actually out of that PDF book. Uh, you're gonna laugh at me now. Again, this was it was sold on Amazon, and I think they were charging thirty pound. But then I went on to book. It was still on Amazon, but then if, if you look down at the different prices, there was one for £13 and it said used from Boot Depository. So I clicked on it, I bought it, and it arrived. It still had its cellophane on. It was literally brand new, not even opened. And it's Harry Potter book, Harry Potter colouring book. Let me just zoom you out a bit because it is quite a hefty boot this one but it's got a lovely thick cover I won't do a flip through with this because there is plenty of flip throughs on YouTube as it is but if you just get the the basic idea I've not coloured anything out of this yet but I definitely will lovely paper there is some uh, but not double page like well yeah sort of there's a double page spread on this side and a double page on that and it all spreads out and I won't be, I've not got enough room on the desk to show you. But basically it goes through all the different movies from the first to the last and showing you all different scenes. So you know you could Google them scenes and then copy the colours and whatnot. Uh, this one, I finished a page in it last night, I couldn't wait. So I bought this, it was classed as second hand off my friend Emma, but she'd, she'd not coloured in it. She'd not coloured in it, so I'm classing it as brand new and I've... Uh, I have got the first one of this, which one was it called? Ticket to Dreams, I think it's called. So yeah, it is signed. It's just a lovely, lovely book. I finished this one last night and it was more of a collage page and I really enjoyed it. I wasn't thinking much about what I was doing. I was watching a movie at the time and I've just, you know, had fun with it. So that is one of my finished pages up to. Um, and the very last thing, is the flower year and I thought am I going to like this a lot of flowers everywhere but you know what I do I like the fact that that's where I tested out the Tombow markers last night I like the fact that it is you know there's months in it and I can go through and colour one in each month I thought that would be nice so that's the one that I did last night and it has Set through because of all sorts that I chucked at this paper. I just wanted to test it to see how it would turn out. But yeah, I'm planning on doing one a month in this. And then at the back, this is the main reason that I liked it. In the index, it tells you what plants, what flowers are in the picture. So then I can Google it and I can get a reference picture and copy so I'm not having to make it up myself. So anything like that, I class it as easy colouring because I'm not having to worry too much about colours or anything. Um, so yeah, that is everything I've bought in the last two or three weeks, I want to say. So I do hope everyone is keeping safe. And I do apologise for finishing off the last colour along as a speed colouring, but I was not feeling very well that day. I wasn't up to sitting there chatting for 
half an hour or so. So I do hope that's okay. But I hope everyone is keeping safe and I will see you in the next one. Time to tidy up. Bye.